Hi vlog! Guess who? So today I'm going to LA because I have a couple things to do up there and I am meeting my friend. I'll talk about it all on the way there because I'm driving there by myself and I need you guys to talk to. But, um, a quick little outfit for you. Um, I'm wearing the dress that I showed you. Oh, I need to add some jewelry, but I'm wearing the dress I showed you in my thrift video. And then I just got these shoes. They're by Something Navy. And then I just got this purse. So, that is the look today. Hi guys, so I'm driving to LA right now. It is like an hour and 15 minute drive love traffic um but i kind of just wanted to like tell you the plan for today so it's not just like bouncing around and everything so first i am meeting my friend isabella she's been in the vlogs once before um at john and Vinny's for lunch and then um well first i'll give you a little background on isabella so she and i went to camp when we with like a few of my other friends and then these other girls we met there but we went to camp woodward when we were like 12 and that's how we met she lived in san francisco and then i live where i live now in orange county and so we just like kind of became friends at this week-long camp and then like followed each other on social media and like have since like have been following each other ever since and um then she was where visiting where i live last year she moved out of San Francisco closer to me and she visits like where I live a lot. We reunited after like five years last summer because she was visiting my city, <laughs> my city. And um, so yeah, we reunited, stayed in touch, like have been in touch ever since last summer. And we both applied to NYU and now we're both are accepted and going to NYU. And so we're meeting for lunch, gotta catch up since I haven't seen her in like a year and um, all that fun stuff because next year we're gonna take on New York. So we're meeting for lunch. It's kind of funny. I just thought like the story of how we met and everything and like how we stayed in touch for so long. But um, so that's that on that. And then we're gonna do some chirotherapy today and shopping and a workout at six o'clock we're going to psycho if you don't know what that is it's like a workout studio class type deal and I've never tried it before so I'm excited because this will be my first time and I guess it's like hit interval training mixed with yoga so that sounds hard and we'll be doing that together at six o'clock so we got a full day planned and I am so excited to try John and Vinny's. I've gone like once before and we were late so they gave up our reservation. So we weren't able to try it, but now I am. So I'll be there an hour and 11 minutes from now and I'll get my spicy pink sauce. So I'm in a traffic little jam, if you will. So I thought I'd talk to you guys cause why not? Um, I have some thoughts. So, last night, I was trying to go to bed, and I kind of go to bed early, like, even, like, it's summer, like, normal people go to bed at, like, 1 a.m. I started to try and, like, go to bed around, like, 11.30, and I could not fall asleep, and I, like, have not been sad, like, graduation wasn't sad for me, like, when I think about going to college. Like, I haven't really been sad. I've just kind of been, like, excited, like, overwhelmed with excitement. And I haven't, like, really, like, even, like, if I think really hard about it, I'm like, oh, I'm not sad. Like, I know I'm leaving, like, my family and my friends and everyone, but, like, it's just, like, a new chapter of my life. Like, I'm going to see them again. And so I haven't been sad about it, like, at all. And last night I was trying to go to bed and I started thinking about it and I sleep with my dog. And I was just thinking, like... I, like holding my dog as like he doesn't even know like I'm gonna be gone like in a month like he's gonna think I abandoned him or something and I just started bawling my eyes out like in my bed trying to go to sleep and I just came 
like a wave came over me like of sadness about how sad I am to like leave everyone like half of me like 50% of me is just like so excited I'm like new chapter I'm living like in my favorite place ever and then the other half of me is like I'm so scared I've like never lived without my dad or like my family or anything in my life like what's gonna happen and so that's my thought and then I realized because this was all like 12, 12 a.m. so technically it was like today that all of like the sadness and stuff came exactly like exactly a month before I leave is that a coincidence because I kind of think not and I'm not superstitious but like is that superstitious I don't know isn't that weird I've like kind of come to terms with it since my uh, mental breakdown last night but I got really sad about it I know like I'm leaving so now I'm like kind of pumped up I'll have my sister there which like obviously is like gonna help me deal with the fact of moving across the country into like a fully different time zone and everything but like everyone or not everyone but like a lot of people do Whoa. <laughs> sorry almost crashed um, a lot of people do that and I can do it too it's gonna be okay thank you for coming to my TED talk now I won't talk to you until I get there, I promise. Wow. <laughs> Trying Okay guys, so I am now driving. We are meeting at this place called Next Health where we're going to do some chirotherapy where you freeze your butt off for two minutes. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. We kind of just sat at Cha Cha Matcha and talked for a long time. So that's why I haven't been vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm currently getting dressed for my Cairo thing, and I want to know whose fingers are this long. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'm so scared. I kind of look like a hype beast. my shoes because <laughs> I was uncomfortable. Okay, so now we're at the station. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> she got this one. Like green juice. Oh, that is good. The pineapple like overrides. Yeah. It. So there is a sign over here that says that um, Monday to Friday is a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Yeah, after 8 p.m. it's free. Okay, thank you. Sunday, Saturday and Sunday is 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, thank you so much. So we'll have to we'll have to repark for the fourth time. Hi guys, so I changed into my workout outfit. We finished up our juices and now we are going to Psycho. I'm terrified and I also don't have a water. Just died. <laughs> we didn't die. <sighs> Slightly did. <laughs> <A little bit. laughs> Hi guys, so I just finished the workout and I'm back in my car, it's seven o'clock. And it was, sorry, this is like the only patch of lights so you're just seeing part of my face. But, 
Okay, you're not gonna get li good lighting here. It was really fun, I think. Like, it was so fun because I get like tired and bored if it's like the same thing, like the entire time and it's interval training. So it's like 30 seconds and then you do it three times and then you switch like into a new workout. I don't know, it's confusing, but it was really fun and then like you also get time to do yoga after which is nice because like it kind of forces you to stretch and also like you get to cool down like if I walked out of there right after I was like dripping like almost in tears but now I like had time to like return to my normal breathing and everything so I really like that but if you want to try it it's called Psycho in Los Angeles on West 3rd Street so try them you get your first class Free, so that's fun um, and now I'm going to drive home well this is lovely I love traffic it's like my favorite thing hi guys so I am finally home it is 8 25 and I just wanted to say I love you all and I'll see you in my next video so bye